Well, good evening. Wonky Astronomer here. Well, this coming Tuesday, the 29th of April, here in Australia, we're going to have an eclipse of the Sun. And we just had an eclipse of the Moon recently. But eclipses often come in pairs, one of the Moon and one of the Sun. And they happen about two weeks apart, because the eclipse of the Moon happens at full Moon, and the eclipse of the Sun happens at new Moon. Here in Australia, it's going to be uh, not ideal. It's only a partial eclipse and we only really get to see the beginning of the eclipse. In the Sydney area on the east coast it'll start at about quarter past four in the afternoon and the sun will set at about quarter past five which is around the time of maximum eclipse and only about half of the diameter of the sun will be covered by the moon so we, we miss the rest of it because the sun sets. To the west of here, for example in Western Australia more of the eclipse will be visible. It's five days until the eclipse and uh, I'm just testing out my equipment. I'm going to use this little telescope to view the eclipse and I'm going to use eyepiece projection where I project an image of the Sun onto a piece of white paper. It's a good method to use if you're viewing the eclipse in a group because several people can gather around and everyone can see. I'm using a system of shadows to find the Sun. I have a little uh, thing here with a hole in it and back here which is where the finder is normally mounted I have a, uh, a, a cardboard disc with a, uh, a cross on it and the idea is that the Sun will shine through this hole and cast a little dot onto the cardboard target. The best position is a little to the left of that uh, cross and there's the Sun. There's an image of the Sun. It's a little off-center, but I'll adjust that. There's a sunspot. I think that might be another one there. The way to tell is to move it. If the spot moves with the Sun, then it's the sunspot. Whereas that thing there, which I'm not sure if you can see, is a hair on the piece of paper, which I'll brush away. Of course, you should never look directly at the Sun either with your eyes or through a telescope unless you have a proper solar filter and that means a filter made specifically for looking at the Sun. The only exception is you can use welder's glass number 14 or higher. Do not use cellophane or photographic filters. The reason is that they don't block ultraviolet and although you can look through those and it may feel okay, the ultraviolet light is still coming through at full strength and it will burn a hole in your retina and your eyes will be damaged forever and you'll only notice this later when you look away and there's a black spot and you feel the vision. I do have a solar filter for my little telescope over there this is it it's made specifically for this size telescope and it covers the entire front of the telescope as you can see it looks like a mirror that's because it blocks most of the light filter goes on the front, covers the entire front of the telescope. Now if I were using that filter for observing the Sun I would also tape it on with some thick heavy tape just to guard against the possibility that uh, it might get knocked and fall off suddenly or the wind might blow it. If you're looking through the telescope and suddenly the filter is gone you'll lose your eyesight. And remember to always remove the finder scope from any telescope use or at least put a cap on it and tape it on because uh, if the finder scope is pointing directly at the Sun it'll probably damage it maybe burn out the uh, crosshairs I'll put a couple of links below to some information about the Eclipse so you can uh, get all the details for your location I'll be at the University of Western Sydney for the Eclipse they're having a public event there Members of the public can come along and there will be several of us there with telescopes, probably with uh, various filter setups, some uh, dedicated solar telescopes where you can see a lot more detail on the sun. I'll put a link to the university site where you can register for the event. I think it's free, but uh, they want you to register just so they know how many people are coming. If you're interested in the technical details of this setup, it's a 10 centimeter or 4 inch schmidt cassegrain telescope. I'm using a 25mm Kellner eyepiece. The mount is a uh, German Equatorial. It's not driven. 
I do have motors on it but they don't work anymore this is a very old mount the uh, projection system is just a cardboard uh, wine cask that I've cut out with the appropriate shape and it's held on with a, a wire coat hanger and some rubber bands it's pretty good works well if you're doing eyepiece projection be very careful what type of eyepiece you use I've heard that uh, Kellner eyepieces are okay because they don't have any glued elements I wouldn't use any other eyepiece or expensive eyepiece the heat can damage the glue between the lens elements and uh, it, it can ruin an expensive eyepiece so um, use eyepiece projection at your own risk well there you have it the solar eclipse this coming Tuesday.